Liverpool. He brings to the ring a fighting record of 23 fights, three losses with only nine by way of KO. He brings to the ring the present WKO Wacko Pro European welterweight Thai boxing champion. Welcome, Neil Woods. <laughs> Let him have a sound by for action within the ring. Right, welcome to the ringside of this, the K1 UK Max eight man tournament as promoted by Show Sport International and JKO Promotions. We have a first round elimination contest, three three minute rounds under K1 rules. In the red corner, Neil Jukes, and in the blue corner, Neil Woods. Neil Jukes, trained there by Corkwood and Winston Walker from the Trojan Gym in Wolverhampton. He's had 12 fights, one eight, lost four, winning three by KO. His opponent in the blue, Neil Woods, trained by Colin Heron from the Kerbon camp in Liverpool. He's had 23 fights, 20 wins, three losses, nine wins by way of KO. Welcome once again, I'm Malcolm Martin, and with me I'm proud to have Howard Hughes. Howard, two good lads here in a cracking competition. Give us your idea on the form book. Well, you can see that Neil has had probably twice the Seven number fights as ring. Neil Dukes. Seconds so out. on paper, Obviously, Neil Woods, by far the most experienced. Let's see how it goes. Right. Yes. As we said, this will be their first fight, possibly two more for the winner. This is the equivalent, really, Howard, of a quarter final. It is. Each one of these fights is going to be like a, a mini main event. As you can see there, Neil goes straight on the attack there. Neil Woods, powerful, powerful body. Yes, and it's worth mentioning here, under the K1 rules, there will be no elbows thrown. We will see none of the traditional Thai throws and they won't be allowed to prolong the clinches, will they? Not long, no. They are allowed to knee. They are also allowed to knee to the face, but the referee will not keep them in the clinch for long. Not in the K1 rules. I must say, Howard, as you said, Neil Woods is looking sharp there. He's rocked Neil Duke's head back a couple of times. He looks a lot stronger than uh, Neil Duke's, doesn't he, Neil Woods? Far more experienced. Let's see how he gets on. Now, I find for Neil Duke's the problem at the moment, as we saw there, he takes that punishment. He stands there, then he comes back. Maybe he should be looking to get a bit of range and work his way in now, rather than take this punishment. That's right, that's right. You've got to get the points up with only three rounds to go. If he goes two rounds down, he's going to be out in the first round. Well, he's putting on a gutsy display. He's constantly walking forward, but the problem for him is he's walking onto some very good techniques by Neil Woods. He is. And he, he does is. look strong, Howard. He looks fit. He looks really ready for this contest. He looks a lot heavier than Neil Dukes, but obviously with a 70 kilo max, they must be very close to the same weight. Although Neil looks a lot, lot bigger and stronger. He does, and just then he had a superb right knee to the midsection, followed by a kick to the thigh. And what's impressed me about Woods' work at the moment is he's gone up and down the body. He hasn't focused on one area. He is a lot more experienced than Neil Dukes. I'm showing a little bit here. Neil needs to up his work rate and just, just go at Neil Woods. Yes, having said that, some good combination work there by Neil Woods. And again, we must stress under these K1 rules, it's very much like the boxing three-minute rounds. How much of a difference will that make to these lads, Howard? A dramatic difference. Again, they've got to be careful. One of these guys is going to be coming out to fight again. But a good shot there from Neil Dukes. He's coming back a little bit now. I think yes. he's settling down slightly. That was his first good shot of the, the competition there. Nice left hook, very short found its target as you can see the referee doesn't allow him to clinch for long what are your views on that Howard I feel one from an outsider's point of view seems to make for a very exciting competition it does it's a very good idea the Japanese don't don't like the, the clinch too much and um, if, if two fighters oh what a fantastic jump in there from Neil Woods yes that's Howard is explaining the K1 rules one of the things that's made famous in the K1 was perfectly demonstrated there by Neil Woods. A jumping knee. A jumping knee to the face. One of the famous Japanese sort of moves there from the K1 rules. And a beautiful left uppercut. You've got to admire Neil Jukes. He's stuck in, he's working hard. But at the moment, the cleaner, crisper work is coming from Woods. He's definitely, he definitely needs to up his work rate, I think. Obviously, Neil Woods is definitely taking this first round. There we go. End of round one. And as Howard said that, a beautiful right hand again from Neil Woods catches Neil Jukes. So really, Howard, I think we'd be in agreement in saying a big opening round for Woods. A big opening round for Neil Woods, definitely. 
Neil Jeeks is going to have to up his work rate dramatically, I think, get some knees going, punches, low kicks, just to even, just to even match Neil Woods. Yes, as we can see from here, beautiful right cross there, Howard, and he looks strong and he moves in quickly when he senses that, that movement, doesn't he? he? He came in nicely there. He looks bigger, he looks stronger, he's possibly got a, a larger reach advantage for Neil Jukes, so... Neil Jukes is going to be up against it for this next two rounds, I'm sure. Now, having said that with Neil Jukes, that's quite an impressive corner, isn't it? It, it is. Kirkwood oh, and Winston yes. Walker, both former world champions themselves. So he's, in, he's in good hands in the red corner there. Second round. Well, that's how it's said then, Neil Jukes in good hands. But it's Neil Woods, this is the ascendancy, very good strong opening round. Let's see what Jukes can bring back. Oh, he's set up. Big right hand and then a right roundhouse to the face as well. Neil, Neil Woods has taken it straight to Neil Jukes. Neil Jukes doesn't look really as if he's recovered fully from the first round. And again there, Howard, I see his legs are wobbling there. And he's taken it to the body as well, but there was a big right hand. It was. Right round out to the face and then the jumping knee. I don't think Neil Jukes is quite ready for such a, a blistering opening sort of session for Neil Woods. Man. And he's very badly marked under that right eye. Big swelling coming up under the right eye of Neil Jukes. Now it's been a torrid opening for him and it's certainly got no better in the second round. They're above our commentary position now. And how had that eye swelling rapidly? It is. He's going to have to really work on his guard now, although he needs to attack. He's one round down, and so far, it, it's not looking good for Neil Jukes. No, Neil Woods doing everything right at the moment. He's a confident young man in the room. Jukes is still firing back, but the cleaner work coming from Woods. And again, the big right hand. As you said before, Howard, I want to pick you up on it. He seems stronger. He, he, he just, you can see physically, he's just a larger guy all round. His technique is better, his strength is better. He has a a wider reach as that is, but that's what you get with the K1 win. Yes, and I feel as well as experience playing off, he looks very calm, he's picked his shots, because although, what I like about Woods in this, this opening fight, is although he's picked his shots, his work rate's also been good, hasn't it? Yeah, but you can see he's been careful, he's not firing too hard, because he knows the injuries have to be apparent in this. He, he can't go into the next fight with a, with a nasty shin injury or a lump on his face or something like that, so that's he's right. doing a perfect job here. That's one of the most exciting things about the K1 elim eliminations. It doesn't just end after these three rounds. If he gets through, he's got another fight and possibly another. And as you said, any sort of injuries, whether it's the swelling we're seeing to Neil Duke's now, or bone injury or cartilage damage, you've got to carry that forward or quit. That's right. You can see the damage to Neil Duke's face already. If for some miraculous reason that Neil Duke's manages to knock Neil out, Yes, as Howard said that, you got the all because it's another right round house that found the target. And to me, the problem for Neil Jukes is very, very simple. Neil Woods is finding the target far too consistently. I think it's the strength of the reach advantage that Neil has. Obviously, his, his past experience over Neil Jukes is definitely coming out here in the second round. Yes, Jukes is looking very rough around the edges, very worn, but he's got a his chin. I mean, he's taken some cracking shots there, Howard. And again, another one that's staggered, but he stays in his feet. He's an ISKA British champion. Every single man in this, in this tournament tonight is a champion. That's How right. That? Just to remind you, Neil Woods, Waco Pro European welterweight champion. And that's how it told us, Neil Jukes, the ISKA British light and middleweight champion. So, maybe hey. that is experience, but certainly not quality as a title holder. Correct, correct. But another big round there for Neil Woods. And as Neil Jukes goes back to his corner, what have they got to tell him? He's got one round left, he's banged up. If he wins, as you said, he's got another fight to go with that damage. He's really in a no-win situation, isn't he? He is, he's in a no-win situation. He has, he has to not, he has to not kneel out. Well, as we can see from the replay there, beautiful right hand, and he follows it up, Howard, with this roundhouse. Bang on the money. You can see the uh, supreme power that Neil Woods has over Neil Jukes. Working on the face of Jukes there, but under that right eye, there's a growing swelling as we can see there, Howard. You can imagine having to come out again to fight in the semi final and possibly the final. But with a swelling like that, it's not going to be easy. And this is the problem we face here the accuracy of Woods and that power that snatches man back to the two warriors in the end. So here we go, first 
grand elimination in the K1 Eight Man Tournament, third and final round. And what's been a scintillating right. fight between Neil Woods from Liverpool and Neil Dukes from Wolverhampton. And sadly for Dukes, really, how it has been one-way traffic. I think all Neil Woods has to do is just survive this next round. And it's in the bag, he's in the semi-final. Yes, and looking at the fighter right above our commentary position, he's relatively unmarked as well at the moment. This must stand him in good stead. Yeah, I think he's just, he's just warming up. It's, the, it's round three, and oh, he's teeing off as he likes. Yes, good combinations. Jammed the knee with his own knee there. And when you look around his body uh, as well, there's not much swelling, there's not much red welts. He was coming through remarkably unscathed. He is. He's in extremely good physical condition, uh, which, which is like a, a body armour, if you like. The more muscular, the less damage you're going to take. Well, if there's any consolation for Neil Dukes, because I think it'll be a miracle if he gets the knockout now, and under his cheek is swelling quite, quite grotesquely now, is he showed remarkable character, remarkable resilience against a man with, with, with more experience. I mean, you've got to take your hat off to him in terms of the way he's stuck in there. He's a champion. He's, he's, you know, he, he still remains a champion. His title isn't on the line, so he's going to give the best performance he can, and he's doing awesomely well just to stay in there with him. Yes, a little grin there, but he grinned as he took another right hand. And I think there's more a grin of acceptance to say, yep, yeah, I'm taking that again, and there's more to come. I think, I think Neil Dukes knows his K1 experience is over for this one, but he'll come back, he'll fight again. Yes, three minute rounds here, third final again, a beautiful short left hook, catches Dukes on the jaw, which is opening now, he's staggering, he's taking his toll this time, this could be the finish, Howard. It could be, oh, fantastic left round ass kick to the head, Neil Woods just, like I say, teeing off, oh, another fantastic right round ass kick, well, there you go, in the space, oh, there's the one to it, finally, that's the it. contact, he's run to the legs, and the referee's pulled it off, yes, as Howard said, Left leg to the head, right leg to the head, and finally Neil gave in when it was a crashing kick to the thigh. It was a lovely, beautiful tight technique, right to the thigh, but before that, a fantastic left and right roundhouse kick right to the face. It's a good from the replay here. He goes for the kill now, Howard, and he's quite clinical when he goes in there, isn't he? He knows exactly what he's doing. Look at that ram, roundhouse to the body. He wins, round ass kick to the head, body shot again, and then bam, that round ass kick to the head. He's still on his feet remarkably, but it's then it's the other one to the thigh, he'd taken the leg damage, and I think that's a very good stoppage by John Blackridge, because Excellent call. If there was at least 40 seconds to a minute left there. The referee stops the fight so that the fighter in the red corner doesn't take any more punishment. So, but after one minute, 55 seconds into the third and final round, a win by stoppage victory going to Neil.